2008 15-inch MacBook Pro DVD drive replacement. Make sure that the MacBook is shut down and flip it over. Battery removal. Unlock the battery lever on the left side and lift up the battery panel. Pull out the battery by its tab. Main cover removal. The main cover is attached with eight Phillips head screws. There are four in the top, three of them long and one short one. The one in the top left is the short one that should be removed first. Then the long three Phillips head screws. On the bottom there are distinctly smaller Phillips head screws and there are four of them. Go ahead and remove those. You can go ahead and lift up and remove the cover now. DVD drive removal. Disconnect the data cable from the logic board first. Then disconnect the Wi-Fi and EyeSight cable. It might be glued to the DVD drive so you'll have to pry it out. Remove the three Phillips head DVD drive screws. There's one in the top left, one in the bottom left, and one in the right middle. Just place them on top of the drive. This will make it easy to track them. Now at the bottom right corner, lift up the drive a little bit at an angle and pull it out. Remove and transfer the DVD drive data cable and the DVD drive bracket. DVD drive installation. Place the two left side DVD drive screws into their holes. This will make it easier to install it when you insert it in. Insert it in at an angle and gently drop it into the socket. Fasten the three Phillips head screws. Reconnect the DVD drive data cable to the logic board. You can just gently click it into the socket. Now reconnect the EyeSight and the Wi-Fi cable. You can use the screwdriver to guide it in. Main cover installation. Make sure that the lever is not locked. Place the cover on the MacBook. First, secure the one short Phillips head screw on the top left. Then the three long Phillips head screws. Now install the four distinctly smaller identical screws on the bottom of the cover. Battery installation. Insert the battery at an angle and drop it into the socket. Place the cover back on and lock it in with the battery lever latch.